Hi guys, today we're going to show you how to install GSI ROMs on the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. Let's go and take a look. Now, one of the reasons why you should want to install GSI ROMs on Pixel phones in general, because they're made for Google phones. They work flawless out of the box. You'll have almost zero bugs. Now, that's what I found out. But for every Pixel is different. Right now, I couldn't get uh, GSI ROMs to install on Pixel 1. I've got it installed on Pixel 2 and Pixel 3. Uh, Pixel 4, I'm still working on. The instructions for Pixel 2 and Pixel 3 are vastly different. That's why I'm making different tutorials. So this is only for Pixel 2. You can use it as reference if you're running into trouble with other pixels, but this is only for Pixel 2. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. I have the written tutorial at my High on Android forum, uh, forum.high on Android. It's under Pixel 2 to Excel category, how to install GSI ROM on Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. Make sure to follow the written tutorial along with the video tutorial so you'll know where to download all this stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and follow it together. First thing you have to learn is that not all GSI ROMs will boot. So I do highly suggest starting with this particular version of Havoc ROM. Now even different version of ROMs can break it, uh, it's, or GSI. And the step one for Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL, you will not be able to install GSI ROMs if you're on Android 11, because Android 11 uses completely different file system. So right now you can't actually install any GSI ROMs. So if you're on the latest Android 11, or maybe you're on older Android 9, um, go ahead and flash any of the Android 10 stock firmers. I do have tutorial on that. Just click on here and you'll find a complete step-by-step -tut tutorial. Once you have stock Android 10 installed, then come back here. And step two, you will also need to unlock bootloader. If you have not unlocked your bootloader, follow my universal guide here, uh, which will show you how to step-by-step -step how to unlock your bootloader. Also doing this, back up everything because we're gonna erase everything to install this ROM. So back up everything before beginning this tutorial. Step three, you can download any ABGSI ROM. The Pixel 2 is an AB slot device. It's a treble supported AB device. So you will have to use ABGSI images only or ROMs. I can just call it ROMs. So if this is your first time, I do suggest going with Havoc ROM since I know that it works. Some of the other ROMs might not work, but go ahead and try this. Make sure this one works and you've mastered the art of installing GSI ROMs on your Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. And then go ahead and try the same tutorial on other GSI ROMs. And maybe you guys can give me a feedback on this topic on my forum so I can update the tutorial and let people know uh, other GSI ROMs people were able to flash successfully flash. So thank you in advance for doing that for me. Um, also, you can find all these other AB ROMs here. This is where you can go ahead and download the AB version. All right. Fourth, you'll need fastboot.zip, torp recovery, VV meta. What are all these things? Fastboot.zip is what we're going to go ahead and use to install the ROM. The reason is that we could use twerp, but we still have to flash stuff like VV Meta using Fastboot. And then we'll also need twerp to repartition the Pixel 2 system partition after we install the GSI, because what the GSI does is it actually makes the system partition much, much smaller than Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL's original system partition size. So we have to resize it, fix that before we flash Google Apps. Also, do not download GSI ROMs with Google Apps. That will end you up in a boot loop. That's what I found out, and that's what I've been doing last two, three days, trying to figure out how to install this in one go. So if you follow my tutorials, you'll save all this headache. You know, it took me literally two days to figure out the exact method for installing GSI on Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. Also, go ahead and download Twerp 3.3.00. That's the version you want. You don't want the latest versions. The latest versions actually break a lot of stuff. So go ahead and download the older 3.3.0.0. So you can go ahead and download the fastboot.zip. All the download links are down here by download here. And you will see click here to download. All right, go ahead and download all the files. Uh, so basically fastboot.zip. Uh, if you're on twerp 2, download this one. If you're on twerp, uh, if you're on pixel 2 XL, go ahead and download this twerp and also download VB Meta. VB Meta, this is for all Android phones. And also if you're using Windows, go ahead and download the ADB drivers and run the program if you have not installed ADB drivers before. Uh, step five, once you have these, uh, once you have downloaded the files, if you download the zip file here, go ahead and double click and extract all, and that will actually extract the actual IMG file. Now, if you're downloading other GSI files, they might be in .exe or some other format, then you can go ahead and use 7-zip 
to actually extract the IMG. So this is the file I want, the official ARM64-AB. And also Fastboot, go ahead and double click and extract all. And that will give you a folder called Fastboot in your downloads directory. And you'll also need the twerp recovery. So for my Pixel 2 I'm using, it's the walleye. You want to do copy this guy all right, into the Fastboot folder. And also you want to copy the Havoc uh, GSI here or whatever GSI imagery you, image you're using and go ahead and copy that into Fastboot folder. And also you're going to need to copy over the vbmeta.img, copy that into the Fastboot folder. So now you should have all the Fastboot files plus IMG files. Next, you can go ahead and follow my forum tutorial for Windows. We're going to just go ahead and type all of this. So go ahead and hit start, type CMD. If you're using Linux or Mac, you can go ahead and follow the Linux or Mac substitute commands I've listed there that you can see right there. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and type CD downloads, enter, CD fastboot, enter. And then I'm going to do fastboot minus W. Oh, sorry, before that, I skipped a step. My bad. Before that, you're going to go back to your phone and power off. And you're going to hold down volume down and power to put it in fast boot mode. And then you're going to connect it to your computer. Boom shakalaka. All right, let's go back to the fast boot here. And you're going to go ahead and type fast boot dash W. This will erase everything on your phone. So if you have not made backup, back it up before you do this. Okay, let's go ahead and erase the user data. If you get an error after it says okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Next, we're going to go ahead and type fast boot space reboot dash bootloader. And this will reboot your phone into fast boot. And then we're going to go ahead and type. You can also copy and paste fast boot flash system. And we're going to uh, type the we're going to just fill out H A V and hit the tab key and it will fill it out for you. If you don't know how to use uh, CD commands for Windows and if you're having trouble, if you're getting errors, um, definitely check out my video on how to use MS DOS commands. I'll put a link in the description also. So this will flash the actual Havoc, Havoc ROM, not Havoc, Havoc. So let's go and flash it, hit enter. Now, if you, the reason why I'm using Android 10, if you try to do this on Android 11, um, you will not be able to flash. You'll get an error because there's no system partition. This is why you have to revert back to, revert back to Android 10. And it should take maybe a minute and a half. So total time, oh, 51 seconds. There we go. And next, very important, we're going to go ahead and type fastboot uh, space reboot bootloader. That'll reboot the uh, fastboot. Because every time you flash something, you want to reboot fastboot because that clears the system. Otherwise, sometimes it can get corrupted. And this is the proper way to flash stuff. So. So next, you're going to go ahead and type fastboot space flash space vv meta space vv meta dot img and enter. What this will do is disable boot time verification. So if you don't flash this, your GSI will not boot. All right. We've done everything. So we're going to do fastboot reboot. All right. And we're going to go ahead and hopefully have a ROM booted here. All right. If you follow all my instructions, it should boot, whether you have a Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. And this is the exact instructions uh, for Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. Now, if you still end up in a boot loop, it could be the ROM you're installing. Just make sure you get the one without G apps and you should be good to go. And the boot up should not take very long because you don't have any G apps installed. And let's see if it pulls up here. And there we go. We got the logo and boom shakalaka. So now we have a very basic ROM that's running Android 10 Havoc ROM. Uh, it's great. You've got all of your customization features there. And you've got about phone, Android 10. I still, I do recommend Android 10. It's much more stable. Plus there's not really Android 11 ROMs out anyway. Now we're going to go ahead and need, now we're going to need to install Google apps or Play Store. So go ahead and power off and we're going to put it back into fast boot mode. Go ahead and 
Hold down, volume down, and power. All right, you should be in fast boot, and let's go back to your command prompt and go ahead and follow step seven. And we are going to type fast boot space boot space twerp. Just type TWRP and then hit the tab key. And mine is a Pixel 2, so it's a walleye. If you have Pixel 2 XL, that should be twerp blah blah timing. All right, go ahead and enter. This will boot the twerp recovery. Now with Android 10 and Android 11, the twerp is very not stable, so I don't recommend trying to run it because it messes up everything until we have a sure method. Um, so I do recommend just sticking with uh, just booting it off. This is actually not installing, we're just booting it off. Now sometimes this might happen where it doesn't boot, just go simply go ahead and reboot. Hold down volume up, oh sorry, volume down and power until it resets and puts you back in fast boot mode. And we're gonna try this again, hopefully the second time's the charm. And this is why you have to follow the exact method for installing GSI ROMs or things just screw up. Great. Oh, also you'll need to download OpenG apps. Go to OpenG apps, I forgot that. Uh, and we're gonna copy it over. No, 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 not that. Go to OpenG apps. Not.com and go to OpenGS project and you're gonna go ahead and select uh, ARM64, Android 10.0 and choose Pico, very important, and go ahead and download. All right, this will download the appropriate Google apps you need. All right, let's go back to our phone really quick and we're gonna go ahead and choose allow to uh, allow modifications. And we're gonna go to wipe and go to advanced wipe, choose system, and we're gonna repair or change file system. And you can see right here, we only have 26 megabytes free. This is why if you try to install Google Apps, it will either fail. If you install the ROM with Google Apps, you will end up in a boot loop. So what we do is resize file system. And if you go back, if you go back home and go to wipe, advanced wipe system, and try to repair it. Now we have 743 megabytes. Now, if you don't do this, G apps will not install even the Pico versions. Now go back to your computer and let's go ahead and copy over the G apps, download folder, find the open G apps. And you can just copy it over into your storage. But for some reason, if your phone is not uh, showing, then what you can do is copy it over with the ADB command. So go ahead and copy over the open G apps. Okay, I'm gonna grab this one, copy, and put it in your fast boot folder. And we're gonna go back to our command prompt and we're gonna push this in. So what you're gonna type here is adb space push space, uh, go ahead and type open and hit the tab key. That'll fill out the name of the file, space slash SD card slash dot. Just like that. And this will copy over the open G apps um, to my phone right now and boom shakalaka so that worked and i'm gonna go ahead and finalize this now we should we should have it let's go back and install and scroll to the bottom open g apps confirm to flash and google apps should install and our installation is finally done now if you guys want root you'll have to uh, patch the boot image of the ROM and then install it. Um, so you, you can guys can go ahead and follow my um, guide on how to do that. Basically patch it. I have a one for, I think OnePlus and Pixel. Um, go ahead, follow that. That's a universal guide. You just basically have to unzip the ROM file and take the boot IMG and you'll be able to do it. Now, if you get a vendor error, that's not a problem. Reboot system and you should be good to go. And you should have a fully working Havoc ROM on your Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. Now, I did get get it running on my Pixel 3 XL, so I'll have Pixel 3 and 3 XL guide later today. That is slightly different, so that's why I'm making different tutorials, because that one, you'll have to go to Fastboot D to install it. That's additional um, coding step you'll have to do. But you should have a fully working GSI ROM, and if you, like I said, try the Havoc ROM, this is an excellent ROM. 
And now you'll have Play Store. Um, go ahead and sign in and enjoy your phone. And I'll have a review of this after I use it. But the greatest thing with GSI ROMs, it works flawless. It's just made to work flawless. If you install GSI ROMs on like Samsung phones, your brightness sometimes will get wonky, but you can even make the auto brightness works flawless. Um, it's, you know, this this is the new drugs for your Pixel phones. If you, you don't need to install a custom ROM, you can install GSIs and they're made to run with Pixel phones. Anyway guys, follow my tutorial and you'll be able to successfully install Havoc ROM on the first try. And it took me many hours to make this tutorial so you don't have to go through the hoops like I did. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Um, check out the forum. If you have any questions, leave in the actual topic at the forum, then I can help you much quicker. Uh, I'm no longer answering Android related questions, technical questions on YouTube because it gets lost in YouTube comment black box. <laughs> Anyway, have a great day, and as always, stay home on Android. Click here to subscribe.